Welcome to another edition of Club Bremen Spotlight. We are CDC compliant, and I'm Danny Bayard from Bremen Motor Cars, your host, with my pal Larry Podwell from iArt Radio. Danny, great to see you. Season one, episode 10. Can you believe it? No. Well, let me tell you, we We're got a great a show fun. tonight. Got a great show. We're going to go on a ride along with the Rolls Royce Rally. Incredible. I understand that you got to eat again. There was another food assignment. Of course. Went to uh, a very nice family run Italian restaurant in West Palm Beach. Uh -huh. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I went to a brewery. I heard. Great brewery in, yeah, okay, in Lake Worth. And uh, we also got a flashback for you. Another flashback. I'm going to go back to the zoo. Well, how did you find out? <laughs> Forget that. Let's join the Rolls Royce <laughs> rally in progress. It was at the uh, Rolls Royce showroom. You're going to love this. Check this out. Wow, what'd you think about that rally? That was amazing. And a lot of those cars are not factory. No kidding. On top of that, fine wine, fine food, beautiful uh, South Florida day. Can't beat that. And a state trooper. <laughs> he was really getting into it. Wow. At the end of the show, we'll tell you how to win one of 20 prizes from Brayman Motor Cars. Had an opportunity to visit a family operation here in West Palm Beach. Italia, Massimo, his brother-in-law, Al, from Boston, restaurateurs, they've come down to South Florida, and I'll tell you something, absolutely fantastic. Food good? Oh, it was this great. Yeah, of course you sampled it. I enjoyed it. Ever I'm since you've been doing these uh, podcasts, uh, you've gained a couple pounds there, buddy. Danny, since this, this little TV segment started, it's probably 12 pounds, <laughs> and, uh, you know, these assignments. We're going to have to lay you off the restaurants. Let's take a look it's still at fun. the Italia Pizza Pasta Grill in this next segment. We're uh, CDC compliant, six feet. We can take it off. Massimo, we're here at Italia, just west of the Turnpike on Okeechobee in West Palm Beach. Thanks for having us. Glad to have you here. Couple of Boston guys here. Uh, Massimo, his brother-in-law Al, nice operation. Good family operation. So. Beautiful place. How long are you guys here? I know a long time restaurateur. So we've been down here in South Florida for about four years. We have another restaurant in Juno Beach called County Line Pizza. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were looking to expand this past year and we opened up a few months ago down here. Beautiful. Great location. A lot of growth out west. Loxahatchee, Wellington, the acres. So uh, uh, 
Uh, look at the activity now, middle of day lunch, dinner. So uh, down from Boston, a couple years now. And uh, tell us about this uh, little gem you got here. So we just opened up this up a few months ago. It's called Italia. It's our second restaurant, like I said. Um, it's just good homes, like homemade, made to scratch order food. Like, so everything's made to order. The fettuccine Alfredo, the uh, chicken parm. We're not, fr we don't have pre-fried cutlets in the back. Everything's made to order. Everything's made from scratch. Nothing comes out of a uh, freezer. Nothing comes out of a microwave. Nothing comes out of a, like a steam table, really. So we just want to do good food. Nah, you can walk in, tell right off the bat, nice family operation. Interesting, right off the bat there, I see Johnny Walker Black. It's a full service bar. Absolutely. Got everything here, beautiful booths, table, COVID compliance. How are you guys making out in this new norm right now over the last seven months? You know, it was a struggle, but we're getting there. Good. Um, you know, things are coming back to normal and the restaurant's coming back and we're doing better and better every day. Love to hear that. You know, I'm just yeah. happy, happy to stay open and beautiful. happy to grow more. Good stuff. So. Usually it's a cars and coffee. Today, uh, cars and pizza. So and pizza. Uh, you got, I got a little quite a flashy out. vehicle there. Yeah, I got a little rocket outside. Okay. Of a 2019 BMW X3 M40. Wow, now that's impressive. It's a really good grocery getter. You know, I'm looking forward to you know moving up to the M8 CS. Uh -huh. Have the world's fastest delivery vehicle. I don't know how you feel about that. I'm very impressed. You can't go wrong. Anything you get from Bremen, the BMW line's amazing. Al in attendance. I guess he's in the kitchen now. He's in the kitchen now. Yeah. Al's got. Uh, he's Al's got, got the five thirty. Yep. Al's got the five thirty e hybrid. Okay. It's, and uh, now, your dad, Rocco. Rocco's has uh, three. So we've had BMW for a long, long so time. So three generations, or so uh, brother-in-laws, the father, and a then, variety of uh, Bremen BMWs in the garage, and uh, your dad in the restaurant business back in the day? Or? No, he was actually in the clothing industry. Really? Um, made, you know, uh, bespoke suits, so worked on a few cool guys, a yeah. few presidents, a few athletes, a few movie stars. Wow, it's pretty impressive. I went completely opposite. I couldn't do what he did, uh -huh. so I decided to do it in a different way. <laughs> I'll tell you something, I go back to Boston, usually back there, I'm a New Yorker, but uh, nothing I'm sorry. like... Uh, <laughs> So we get the Yankees, Sox, and the whole rivalry and all that, but, uh, you know, nothing like the North End. No, absolutely not. Uh, great. We're going to head into uh, the kitchen now, see what the boys have uh, prepared for us. That's good. We're back here in the kitchen with my chef Alex. We're going to make some uh, pakiri, chicken broccoli and zidia with garlic, and uh, some meatballs. Let's go. We're going to start with the chicken. We're going to saute that in the pan with some uh, extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of onion, give it some flavor. Bring it on the heat and we gotta cook that. We're gonna drop our broccoli in, we get it fresh every day. We're gonna add a little bit of white wine, give it some uh, flash, bring all those flavors together now. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. We do a little bit of parsley, give it some color, a little bit of oregano too, just to brighten up the dish, give it some, some more oomph. Clear stuff we make in house. Just to get those everything together now. Yeah, pasta and the broccoli is ready. I'm gonna reduce it and drop it down. Saute it in the pan so all those flavors melt together. It's all about melt, uh, melting the pasta and the sauce together. If you're just putting sauce on top, you're not getting the full flavors out of all the pastas and stuff like that. Ready to plate. And a little kiss of extra virgin olive oil at the end. Chicken, broccoli, and ziti. There we are. Wow. We got the chicken, broccoli, and ziti with uh, garlic and oil. How about that? Massimo, Al in the kitchen, back here, Italia. Beautiful wall of family photos. I'm a happy customer here. It's Club Bremen Spotlight. Nothing like Bremen motor cars. You're not gonna see Herb Chambers doing anything like this up in Boston. Great Boston guys family operation. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. And uh, let's dig in. Wow. Twist shot here. <laughs> love it. Thank you. Nice. Love it. Great. Italia. We're just west of the turnpike on Okeechobee. 
West Palm Beach, family owned and operated. Love these guys from Boston. It's my new home. It's going to be yours too. See you next time on Brayman Spotlight. Thanks again. Thanks, Bill. As Ooh. they say in Baston, wicked good Italian food. Yeah, I could see you were enjoying oh, it. Oh, man, Danny. Family operation, phenomenal. I'm going back. And, uh, boy, these guys. By the way, great. I never got the takeout. It doesn't travel well. I would have bring some. I wanted to bring something back for you. But well, you know what? Here's what doesn't travel well, too. I <laughs> went to the Matthew Brewing Company, this oh. guy by the name of Dave Matthews. Okay. He was actually an engineer turned brewer. You got to see this segment. Fabulous place. You're going to want to go there yourself. Here it goes. This is Danny Bayard on location with Matthews Brewing Company. I'm here with owner Dave Matthews. We've already spoke about uh, we're CDC compliant, six feet apart. Okay to get rid of the mask? Yeah, let's take the mask off. Fabulous. I have to tell you, I was absolutely shocked. I got out an industrial complex here, and then suddenly I walk in. The aroma is absolutely fabulous. I find this stunning all right, display of uh, beers and of equipment and a beautiful seating area. What was the vision behind this? What were you thinking? So a little bit about Matthews Brewing Company. Um, I bought this building uh, approximately five years ago. It used to be the Lake Worth Herald, which was a printing uh, press that they decided they wanted to downsize. So at the time, um, I had an engineering company. I'm an engineer, professional engineer. I had the company for about 20 years. And I decided um, I had been home brewing for about 25 years. Okay? okay, so that was my hobby was brewing beer. So I decided, hey, I wanted to jump in and uh, have a second career and have a brewery. So I started um, looking around. And what happens with uh, with breweries? We're actually a manufacturing facility. Even though you see this nice bar area out here, we're considered a manufacturing facility. So we get zoned into industrial areas. Okay. So I took a look around, found this place in Lake Worth Beach, and they had a nice outside area that you'll see in a little while where I could have a beer garden. So that's where the location came from, and just the idea was from just my love of craft beer. Well, you know what's incredible is that we're sitting here in this fabulous dining room and uh, bar facility. You got a beautiful place outside, and I'm thinking, these are great props, but they're actually manufacturing beer. How much? Give me volume. Give me... Yeah, so, so basically we can we can produce about 660 gallons a day, okay? Wow. So right now we're brewing Black Metallic, which is our um, stout that we have here. Um, it's our Irish stout uh, that we put on nitro, so we're brewing it today. The brewing process, we'll be brewing, we started at 7.30 this morning. We won't be done until about 6 o'clock tonight, and then we'll move it over into the conditioning tanks where it'll condition for two or three weeks. Then we'll move it over to one of our bright tanks and carbonate it up. That'll take about a week, so the whole process to, to brew an L is about four weeks. If uh -huh. you want to brew a lager, it takes a lot longer, and you're looking about three months. And how many different flavors do you brew here? We've got 18 different flavors that we, we brew. We have a lot more than that, but those are kind of like the standards that we have, and then we'll rotate other beers in. So if you looked at our entire portfolio, we, have, we probably have about 40 recipes. Now, do you guys actually bottle and distribute, or it's simply for consumption within the facility? So what we do, we do distribute. We, we distribute through Florida Gold Coast in Palm Beach County and Broward, and J.J. Taylor on the Treasure Coast. Right now, we're just distributing ke kegs to the bars and to the restaurants, okay. but we are going to start distributing cans you know, at the first quarter of next year. Okay. Now, out of the brewery, we do sell cans and bottles and everything to go. Okay, so you, talk to me about the beer. I noticed that you put a couple of uh, samples here. Yeah, so um, our number one beer in distribution is our Celerate. This is our American IPA. Um, so that beer does really well for us. Uh, kind of the new craze now are the hazy IPAs that kind of started in Vermont. And we brew a few of those. We've got Florida Haze and then we have our Florida Hop Juice. Um, those are two good stellar beers for us. Now for, for the layman, give mm -hmm. me what IPA means. So IPA means Indian. Pell so that means it's a little stronger than a regular Pell than a regular beer. So what's the percentage comparison? The percentage with the IPA, that's at about 6.9% alcohol, and uh, just a Pell is typically around 5, 5.5%. Okay, so, about 25, 30%. Yeah, so it, it's actually a little bit more hoppier too when you go to and an a IPA. More kick. So, however, you know, they've done a lot of studies and 60% of the people when they sit down at a bar stool like this at a craft beer place, they are ordering an IPA. So you're going to see every craft beer place have 
you know, they're going to have a stellar IPA. And where did the uh, idea for the, is this a dining room? Do you serve food here? Yeah, so this is a tap room. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so basically um, what I did, of course, is, um, you know, when I came up with the concept, I visited, you know, various breweries, various restaurants, and kind of come up with the concept that I wanted to have here. And then also I'm a, you know, a professional engineer, so I know a little bit about design and construction. So, so we, we built the facility as, as big as we could in the back, because that's where we have all our equipment back there. And then we have this, uh, this you know, amazing tap room here that fits 117 people. What I wanted to do, because I was in an industrial area, when people came in here, I wanted them to have the wow factor, which I think um, we have here. I so. got the wow factor just coming in here. And again, I can't stress, and you gotta do this, the aroma of this place is delightful. And just the ambiance is so warm and inviting. I, I really dig it. So what I'd like to do is take our Club Raymond members on a little tour. So sure. if you don't mind, can you show us around? Yeah, let's do it. First, I'm gonna show you our beer garden that we have out here. This is a 5,000 square foot beer garden where we have our bands play and we have our food trucks. And we actually have uh, weddings and parties and birthday parties and so forth out here. So a lot of people, of course, like to be outside right now because of COVID. So we've got a nice area where people can come. They can bring their families. And we're also very dog friendly here. So we have a lot of people that bring their dogs and they like to hang out and enjoy themselves and have some craft beer and some uh, local food from the food trucks that we rotate here. The next thing I want to show you guys is our um, tap room. So we have a, an air conditioned tap room here, which has a lot of murals on here. A lot of people like to come in, look at the different beers that we have. Um, sample the different beers and again it's kind of a relaxing atmosphere that we have here um, in our tap room and then we also have uh, live music that we have in here um, once in a while and then we're also playing some type of music to um, entertain our customers. Next I'm going to show you our, our brewing facility which is our manufacturing facility where we're brewing our beers. Um, we run the facility back here five days a week um, so we're always brewing beer here. We're either brewing, cleaning, or kegging so actually um, Cleaning is 90% of the process, brewing is about 10% of the process. So we're a full manufacturing facility here on brewing. We've got a three kettle brewing system, which is a 15 barrel system. We brew about 660 gallons a day. And we also have got a pilot facility where we brew our cask ale and our experimentals, um, which are about two barrels a day, which equates to about 62 gallons. Wow, what a facility. Dave, congratulations. Every, I, I don't know which one I like best. The uh, the tap room, the outdoor, the brewery, it's all fabulous. Thank you, I appreciate it. And from engineer to brewer, and I understand Club Raymond member, you got a BMW? Yep, so I've had a BMW for over 20 years. Um, when I had my engineering company, we leased the BMWs through um, Raymond with Matthews um, Consulting Incorporated. Once I sold that company and I started my brewery, I still have a BMW that I'm still leasing through uh, Brayman. So I love cool. those cars. They drive great. And it, uh, I love the utility vehicles. I've had We the appreciate the business, Club Brayman member. And also, you can see Dave's article in the Club Brayman magazine a couple of issues ago. Enjoyed yep. the read. All it's right. Great. And you'll learn all about Matthews Brewing Company. Remember, they're located at, and I'm going to just give you, if you could see this address right here, all right, so you don't forget it, make sure you come to this place not only for the aromas, not only for the ambiance, but for great beers, which I understand we're gonna try right now. Yeah, so I, got got, I have you a little uh, cream ale there called Sweet Emotion, and I'm drinking a little uh, Junkyard Dog, which is a brown ale right here. Cheers. Congratulations, cheers. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So craft beer has a lot of flavor. Uh -huh. We consider a craft beer like a food here. That is good. What is the ingredients? Because there's some really cool ingredients yes. in flavor. So in a, in a cream ale, you know, we've got um, barley malt that we're using. We're also using a little Pilsner malt. And we put a little bit of biscuit in there, ah. um, believe it or not. So, and it has a little bit of corn. And what about the dark? So the dark beer here, this is going to be all English pell malts that we're using, along with dark malts to give it the darker color. So we've got a lot of specialty malts in here. We've got a chocolate malt. We've got some crystal malts. And, um, and then some other um, black malts in here. So the, the basics behind the beer is basically you're also s always starting out with the pell ingredients that you see over there on the cream ale. Okay. And then when you make, wanna make it darker, you're adding the specialty mark, malts, which make it, gives the beer a little darker color. Very cool, very cool. To my friend Larry Podwell from iHeartRadio, I get the beer, you get the food, I'm having a blast. Congratulations and make sure you come to Matthews Brewing Company. Cheers. Cheers.
a good beer. Yummy. Boy, it looked like a nice liquid lunch or perhaps liquid breakfast. It was slightly before lunch, and I couldn't get to finish my entire beer. I had to come back to work, okay? But, but listen, that's more than I could say for you. You didn't even give me a shout-out. Not I, even a taste when you I've came back. I've given you a shout-out in the past. Hey, is that it? <laughs> Did you see those kegs that were named after uh, different rock, rock bands? All rock bands. Yeah. Yours, I believe, was Aerosmith. Sweet, Sweet Emotion. Emotion. Yeah. Our buddy Connie McGinnis might... Uh, be interested I think in that. it's probably one of the places he needs to go to. Love to see him. From Aerosmith. Right. All right. Anyway, we're going to be going uh, to a quick break, and right after, we're going to have a Club Raymond flashback at the Palm Beach Zoo. Stay tuned. Love it. What are you waiting for? It's the year-end sales event at Brayman Motor Cars. Save thousands on 1,000 vehicles located on seven indoor floors. Choose from BMW, Mini, Porsche, and pre-owned cars from economy to exotic. Enjoy exceptional offers with minis from $199 a month and BMWs from $349, the year-end sales event. Come in or buy online at BraymanMotorCars.com. Brayman Motor Cars, we deliver. Larry, it's that time of the show for your favorite, the Club Raymond flashback. Your favorite, too. We love it. We reminisce about some of our great events. Speaking of that, the new Club Raymond magazine is out on newsstands. You probably already got it in the mail. The beautiful Olympia Zuccarelli on the cover. That's right. Zuccarelli's restaurant. And lots of really great articles. Larry, Excellent. this is a keeper. No. Excellent. Now we're going to go back. Palm Beach Zoo, Roar and Pour. It was only the last 2019, summer. 2019, I think. Summer of 2019. And sooner, uh, the sooner we can get back to our events again, we can't wait. Can't wait. Can you believe it? We're talking about last year like the good old times, right? Yeah, they were the good old ago. times. It was. All right, let's take a look. And I'm here with Club Raymond TV. Today we are talking about Roar and Pour. Roar and Pour was this past Saturday and it was so much fun. We had a band named Never Stop Believing, who is a Journey tribute band, and they were amazing. They even dressed up with wigs and really got into character. So let's go check it out and see how the event went. as well. Thank you so much. But let's take you back now. Let's take you back to 1981. All right, you ready to go? As you can see, everyone had a blast from all ages, from little kids to grown adults. We all had so much fun, and we hope to see you at the next Club Raymond event. If you want to learn more about Club Raymond, make sure you check out www.clubraymond.com. And we hope to see you at the next event. Bye. Well, I'll tell you, that, that Roar and Pour event at the Palm Beach Zoo is amazing. And uh, let's hope that it's bigger than ever in 2021. You know, as was all the Club Raymond uh, events. Visit clubraymond.com to take the easy three question quiz about this show to win one of 20 prizes. In our next episode, you are going to see, Larry, another update of those Tiger oh, Cubs. Boy. We went back, filmed them. They're six months old. Amazing. Bundles always, of joy. Always love that. We're going to revisit. Uh, we 
teased it in episode two back in July. Opportunity Early Learning Kids Ram. Great place. Which is a great place. Yeah, and that's a, a Ram competition based on a cross country bicycle trip. Yes. And no, don't tell me. You got another restaurant you're going to, Larry? Apparently, it's to be determined at this point. Yeah, of but, course. Uh, They've got to find a restaurant for you. I'm waiting for the assignment, <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if. We may just have to put you on a diet. Restaurant. I'm going to jog to the restaurant. And of course, we'll have a flashback. See you <laughs> next uh, time for Club Raymond Spotlight. Oh, Thanks for joining us. We always love it. My pal Larry uh, Podwell Danny, from iHeartRadio. The best. Danny Bayard from Raymond Motor Cars. Take care. We'll see you soon.